Hola, amigos! Welcome to join us today. Today, I'm going to share with you a whole body flow. This is very effective flow if you need a little bit, a little bit of stretch and activation of the body, and it will be also perfect for the mornings. Well, if you feel like joining us, I mean, my girl is joining me for sure. So let's get started. Shall we? I'll see you on your mat. Well, if you have a dog, welcome to bring your dog on the mat with you as well, like like us. Um, all right, so see easy sit in the center of your mat. We just start in this easy sitting pose. A few rounds, breathe to settle yourself in today's flow. You can also set an intention for the day or for the rest of your day. Whatever intention you wanted to feel more relaxed, you want to focus more on your work later, doesn't matter. I wanted to have more love with my knee later, and just to settle in. Feel it's a bit windy today. Just feel the energy flowing in the nature. It's perfect for us. And take a big inhale in the center, and exhale. Bring your right knee to your right shoulder. Extend your left arm out, and like try to explore the areas with your left fingertips. Find a juicy sweet spot, just to stay still. Feel the stretch of your left neck, and bring the chin to the chest. Feel the back side of your left neck taking into the oxygens. Big inhale and exhale, and roll your head in front of your chest and bring the left ear towards your left shoulder and extend your right arm out, exploring with your right fingertips. Bring the chin to the chest. Feel the sensations going on behind the back of your right neck, and just half circle the neck side to side. Feel the stretch of the back of the neck. <sighs> And we gently come back to center. Take a big inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, bring the right hand down, side stretch on the left. Expand your chest towards the sky. Don't round. And reach your left fingertips all the way towards the right side. Big inhale, come back to center and drop the left hand down. Side stretch on the right side. Wow, it's so juicy! Oh. Mm. And come back to center. I'm gonna just sort out my mat. Welcome to tabletop. Good doggy. A few rounds of cat and cows. Mobilize your spine. Inhale, dip your belly and open up your collar. Wow, it's so windy. Exhale, round the back, push the floor away. Oh, it's the weather of Mediterranean Sea, you know. It's so changing, fast changing. And 
open up the hips. Inhale, lift your right leg up and bring to the side and back. Knee circle, side and back, side and back. We'll open our open up our hips and change direction. Bring it in. And your last circulation, we just bring the right foot all the way to the side of our mat. Place the right foot down and pinky toe also press down on the mat. Wow, 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 wow. This windy. My doggies are scared. Wow. I'm just like really worried about my camera. <laughs> Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, curl back and bring the hips towards the left heel. A few rounds like this. We we'll just open up our hips. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round and bring the hip back towards the heel. Inhale, open. Exhale, bring it back. And come back to center. Lift your left arm up. Twist towards the left. Open your chest towards the left. And exhale, thread the needles. We bring our arm all the way down. And extend your right arm in front of you. Come into this twist. You can also bring your hip back to your heel. I have a doggy here, so I prefer to stay up and lift it. And inhale, come back to center. We'll change side. Bring the right knee in. And now we lift the left knee up and to the side and to the back. Circle the hips. Change direction. Bring it in. Two more times. And place the left foot down to the side of the mat. Pinky edge of the toe also glued down towards the floor. And just feel cat and cow. Bring the hip back to the heel. Feel the opening of the left inner thigh and inhale. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come back to center. And we just take big breaths in. Lift your right arm up. Twist towards the right and bring it all the way down. Thread the needles towards the left and bring your left arm in front of your head. Extend the arm. Bring the hand back and come back to center and just bring the left knee back. Come into a child's pose for one round of breath. <laughs> and come to tabletop once again. We just to bring our hands a little in front of us, in front of our shoulders, and bring the knees together. We'll do a few rounds of hip dip. My favorite, one of my favorite. It's really good to release any tension on the hips and on the lower back. It's very effective pose. Take a big inhale and keep your core strong and centered. Exhale, dip your hip to the right. Keep your left arms, uh, left hand grounded on the floor and gaze back. 
Feel the stretch on the right side of the lower back, all the way down to the hip, and inhale center. Exhale, bring it to the other side. Right hand grounded down. So we'll do it a few times like this. Inhale center. Exhale to the side. And once more, each side will stay a little bit longer, and open the arm towards the back of the mat. Feel the side stretch in opening. Hmm. Come back to center and to the other side. Open up. And come back to center. Tabletop. Now we'll do a little bit of shoulder dips to mobilize our shoulder, shoulder, and the shoulder sockets. Inhale, just to pinch the shoulder blades together, like kind of like a cow pose, but do not dip and arch your spine. Just pinch your shoulder blades together. Exhale, open your shoulder blades and round the upper back. Keep your neck long. Inhale, dip. Bring the shoulder blades together. Exhale, open the shoulder blades. A few rounds like this. In and out, and a little faster. In and out. In and out. In and down, and come back to center. Tabletop. Take a big inhale and exhale. Bring the right foot in between the arms. No lunge. Anjali Asana. Bring the hips up and square the hips hand together, and cactus the arm. Exhale and bring the. Hips down towards the mat, and inhale. Reach the arms all the way in front of you, and lift. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, cactus the arm, and exhale. Open the chest two more times. In and exhale. In and exhale. And we'll bring hands on top of the knee, just to dip lower with the hips. Feel the lengthening of the left front growing muscles. Open the chest, and exhale. Bring the hands on the floor. Push the hips back. Half split pose. Stretch on the right hamstring, all the way from the right heel to the right glute. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, bring the foot back. We'll change side. Inhale, exhale, bring the left foot in between the arms, the hands, and. Lift yourself up, Anjali Asana. Dip it a little bit lower. Cactus the arm. Open the chest, and inhale. Reach in front of you and bring the arms up. Lift the hips, and cast the cactus the arms. Exhale. Dip the hips. Three more times. In. In and dip. We'll 
bring hands on top of the knee and dip the hips even lower. Feel the stretch on the front and the growings of the right side, right hip. Take a big inhale, exhale, bring the hands down, push the hips back. Half split. Half split. <laughs> And then he'll come to low lunge and bring the foot back into tabletop. We'll come into a child's pose one more time. Reach out through your arms and press down in the mat and bring the hips into the heels. <sighs> opposite, equal opposite forces through the hands and through the glutes. And take a big inhale, round your spine, and bring your body up and tuck the toes. Bring the hips up, downward facing dog. <sighs> Stay in this downward facing dog. You can walk out your dogs. And we'll slowly walk towards the top of the mat. We'll come into a rag doll. Hold each of the up and um, opposite of the elbows. Dip your head down. Relax your upper body and bring the chest towards the side. Keep the knees micro bent. <sighs> Feel the reversions of the blood flow and the reversions of the energy flows. Slowly lift yourself up round the back and very slowly lift yourself up vertebra by vertebra until you finally stand in mountain pose. I'm just going to come into the center of the mat so you can see me clearly. <sighs> Inhale, take a big breath in, lift your arms up, exhale, bring your feet a little bit closer, exhale, side stretch. Pull the left hand towards the right and side stretch on the left side. <sighs> Come back to center, inhale. Exhale to the other side. Pablito. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, dive down. Arms open and come into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands on top of the shin. Lengthen the spine and exhale. Fold even deeper. Inhale, bend the knee, both knees, and we'll lift your body up and come into a chair pose. I'm gonna come to the top of the mat again. Chair pose. And exhale, bring the shoulder blades together. Externally rotate the shoulder blades and bring uh, the shoulders and bring the shoulder blades together and interlace the hands behind you. We exhale, bring the chest on top of the side and head down, shoulder stretch. You can slowly lift and straighten your legs. If not, then keep them bent and rest your chest on top of your sides. And relax the hands. Release the hands. I will just come into a forward fold once again. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bring it down and we bend the left knee. Place the left hand down beneath our gaze. Keep the right leg straightened and we'll just side stretch towards the right. Lift the, the right arm up.
exhale, bring it down, or change side. Bend the right knee. Inhale, lift the left arm up and open towards the left side. And exhale, bring it down. Take a big inhale and exhale, gen generously lift yourself up. We'll come into the center of our mat, toes out, heels in, open the legs, widen the leg, the feet, and keep the knees out as well. Just a few rounds to play with the energy flows. It's kind of like Tai Chi in the Taoism practices. We just play with the energy flows. Inhale, lift arms up, bring the energy together in between the palms, and exhale, bring it down, squat down, and bring it into your Dantian. This um, area between your stomach and your heart and we'll lift up again inhale and exhale we'll do it a little bit faster inhale exhale feel the natural energy flow with your body as well just imagine yourself as a one little element part of the nature and your energy vibrates with the nature's energy in the same frequency. Oh, I hear my I hear my bone cracks. Feels actually good. And we'll come back to center. Heel toe your feet closer. A little bit hip distance wide. We'll come into a Malasana Yogi squat. Bring the energy down in between your hips now. And push your, uh, your knees away through your elbows. Spine tall and long. You feel, it's, it's like, you know, um, your crown of your head and the sit bones are all connected like a needle, a pipeline, and it's connected through the universe. So there is a stream of energy right coming through my crown of my head and goes all the way through my spine, coming to my tailbone and to the mother's. I am just one element of it. And sit yourself down. We ground ourselves down on the mat. Bring the soles of the feet together. You know, the reason that I love Odor Yuga is because I feel, I always feel like I'm one little element of the big environment. And I am small, but I'm vital, and I vibrate myself into the Mother Earth, and I become part of the Mother Earth, and I feel much more, you know, like melted, how to say, like mingled into the Earth, into the nature. And that finally empowers back um, to myself, like empower back myself and my body to feel much better. That is kind of like the feeling of doing outdoor yoga. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. See if you can round over and keep your knees open. And lift yourself up. Inhale. We'll just come to bring our feet all the way straightened out in front of us. Dandasana. Staff pose. Keep your sit bone down to the mat, your heels down to the mat, and your hamstrings are on the mat. 
your upper body perpendicular to the mat and inhale. Exhale, walk your hands all the way out to meet the heel of your feet. Lead with the heart. Heart going forward, not going down. And keep your sit bones on the floor. Push the heels forward and uh, hips backwards so you feel the lengthening of your hamstring. Work your hands all the way to meet the heels until you cannot. And inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Bring your forehead to meet your shin bones. And inhale, we slowly lift ourselves up, use the same method, push ourselves up. Now we come to lay on our back, bring the knees into the chest, rock side to side, massage the lower back. It is time now to absorb all the benefits from this class. Now we bring the feet down closer to the glutes and hands, arms out in T or cactus, whatever, just relax them on the side and just windshield wiper your knees side to side, release any tension in the lower back and hips. And we bring our knees both towards the left side, ground your right shoulder bone towards the mat. If you want to feel a little bit of extra uh, uh, twist, bring the left foot on top of the right knee and twist even more here. I feel this side always you know like side of the hips it's very effective this twisting awesome now we relax the feet and we bring the knees back to center a little bit of wind shield wiper once again and we'll rest our knees to the left to the right side uh, right side right foot on top of the left knee for extra bit of twist and ground your left shoulder on the mat And relax the feet, come back to center, bring the knees into the chest once again. And forehead also in like a cosmic bow. Hold your energy center and take big breaths in. Exhale, release, extend your body out. And relax yourself onto the floor, onto the ground, onto the earth. Stay here in a minute or so to just chill, relax the body, solve the benefits, rest the mind, mingle yourself into the Mother Earth, feel the, feel the wind blowing us around you, hmm. The birds chipping around you, the energies around you. They all subside around you with your energies.
blink your eyes open and just shake your fingers, your toes. Bring the hands onto your face, onto your eyes, and just a little bit of facial massage. <laughs> That's what I like to do to my scalp. A little bit of also head massage with the fingernails. Hmm, a little bit of blood circulation activation in the scalp. <laughs> In the face, put a little pressure through your fingertips into your skull. Feels really good, actually. Hmm. I see the clouds moving very fast, rapid above me. <sighs> Big yawning, and bring the knees, uh, bring the feet in. We'll come to the side of our body, and slowly push yourself into a seated position. Come to sit back into the center of our mat. Hmm. Few rounds of inhales and exhales. Feel the hair on your face. <laughs> mm, a little bit of gentle touch on your body. How do you feel after this total body movement? Mm. How is your energy shifted? Versus the beginning of the class. Hmm. Blink your eyes open if they're not. <laughs> Just observe the environment around you. Anything shifted? <laughs> I feel the warmth of my dog's body. Thank you so much for being with us in this beautiful flow, and I hope you enjoy with us as well. And uh, yeah, the sounds coming out. Ah, I hope there's much more positive energy flowing into your life. Thank you. I'll see you in the next flow. Bye.